Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well. Um, I feel like we look really pink today, like <laughs> with the bedding, the pink candle, the jumper as well. Um, but I hope you're doing really well. I haven't had much of a chance to film in the last couple of weeks, but I handed a uni assignment in last week. Um, and today I'm by myself all day and had no plans and don't have any uni work to do yet. Um, so I thought that I would take the opportunity to film a couple of videos. I've really missed filming um and I'm really excited to be able like to be back just like film videos I love talking to people who are into the same kind of stuff as me so I've really missed it but anyway uh today's video is going to be my review that I do um at the end of a month once I've kind of tried most things or everything from my birch box or any other boxes I've got that month so this is my kind of recap from the stuff I got in March. I only got Birch Box in March and I tried absolutely everything again, which I'm very proud of. <laughs> I've got them all here, so I thought that I would talk through everything, what I thought of them, what was my favourite thing, what would I buy again and stuff like that. So let's start with what's on my lips at the moment. So this is the Smoothie Stick Lip Crayon uh by the beauty crop i'm gonna leave my original unboxing like down below in case you want to see that um but i'm assuming you already know kind of what these products are this i actually really like the color when i swatched it i wasn't really maybe that that sure but i feel like it looks really similar to my natural lips um it's just like it's not even like really glossy it's a little bit it's like more like a, a cream sheen kind of lipstick um, it feels really nice on the lips. It's just, it's not very long lasting. Um, so I guess it's something I'd put on to like film a video, something I'd wear at work. Um, especially, I don't know uh, if anyone else is like this, but I do my makeup and stuff. And if I'm working from home and I'm just jumping on Zoom, a lot of the time um, I might put like just lip balm on or something. But I normally have like foundation stuff all over my lips. So this would be something to just give my lips a little bit of colour, but it doesn't need to stay all day because I'm literally just sat there in front of my computer screen, you know? Um, so yeah, I mean, it's nice enough. Um, it wears down like like I said it's not very long lasting so it does wear off like quite easily so I'm glad it's just a nude shade if it was like a bright pink or a really deep dark shade that was like a bigger contrast to my lip color you'd see it wearing off a lot easier um, and so with a nude you can get away with it a bit more can't you so um, would I buy it again I mean probably um, yeah but I'm, I'm enjoying wearing that so there's that uh i also only tried this last night <laughs> the uh brave new hair keratin shampoo and in uh, my unboxing oh it's a bit sticky uh in my unboxing i read out the directions and they say to use the shampoo twice and i know some people do that i've never done that before so i did it it says to shampoo to prep your hair then you rinse it off then shampoo to foam and rinse and i did that um, and you know what, I actually quite liked it. Um, it hasn't made my hair really like feel or look any different today. Um, and I guess I'll see over the next few days kind of, does it seem to get greasier quicker or anything like that? Um, but yeah, depending on the price, I probably would purchase it again. It's definitely one of those things though, like I don't really care that much about shampoo. My favorite shampoos are the L'Oreal Elvive ones, um, the Dream Lengths one, the Extraordinary Oil one um and i'm happy to just go and purchase them for like three pound fifty each you know um and so i don't really look for other shampoos so this was nice to try something new um i don't really know what i would want from a shampoo for me to go wow i love it so much i really want to buy it um but i understand that everyone has like different hair types and concerns and so for someone this shampoo might have been absolutely amazing but for me i feel like my hair is just pretty like average um yeah it's just like I don't know it's caucasian hair that's it's not super straight it's not really curly so i don't need to like lots of definition or anything it's just yeah and i just straighten it or chuck it in a bun um yeah so <laughs> it's not too dry or like super oily and greasy or anything it's just i feel like my hair's i don't know quite average i suppose i suppose my biggest actually <laughs> now i'm talking about it my biggest concern would potentially be like split ends um and I suppose that's more like to do with the conditioner that you use and stuff 
Um, a lot of conditioners and hair masks are, are good for split ends, aren't they? But this was nice. Yeah, yeah, I liked it. I probably wouldn't go out of my way to purchase it again, but it was all right. Uh, this I have tried a couple of times. The uh, Feel Fruit by Feel Free Lemon Body Cream. This is really thick. It smells really nice. It's just really thick and white and it like leaves this like heavy white cast like on your skin. And then you know like the more you rub it, the more white is just showing up. And then you're just kind of sit there like you feel like you've got loads of product on your body and you're just like, ugh, okay. Um, like waiting for it to sink in. Um, I will use it all up because it's a body cream, but um, I don't love it. If anyone else has tried this, like let me know if you have the same kind of opinion as me. <laughs> Next is the Vitamasks, I still don't know how you say it, Sika? Sisa? Kika? I don't know. Green Tea Jelly Cleanser. I've quite liked using this. It's been alright. Um, I can't remember, I didn't use it this morning. Yeah, it smells like a bit green teeny and just like really fresh. Green tea does smell quite fresh and like earthy to me. But yeah, it's a nice cleanser, like uh, for a second cleanse or a morning cleanse. I just feel like in this box, a lot of the products, I'm like, yeah, they're all right. Like, they're not something that I really necessarily fell in love with and I would go and repurchase it. But then I'm sure, like, if I ever got this in another box, I would still, like, use it all up. Um, but I don't really know if I'd go out of my way to use it or, as in, go out of my way to buy it. Um, I feel like it was nice. I do feel like it was nice. Um, but I wouldn't just rave about it and be like, everyone go buy this right now. So, you know, it was all right. Again, let me know if you've tried this. Um, but yeah, I feel like it's okay and I will get through it. <laughs> so there's that. And then the last item is the eye cream. So this is by Root and Fruit. Uh, and it's their, or is it by Wild Science Lab? There's two names here, I don't know. I looked back in the leaflet. Wild Science Lab. Okay, it's the Root and Fruit Night Shift Renewal Eye Serum uh, with hyaluronic acid in. Uh, lift firm and bright and delicate skin. 7ml here. You squeeze it out. Um, it feels nice enough. It's not like a really thick kind of... Uh, cream or anything which is something I'd probably you be more likely to use at night time it's again like it's quite light um but it's not again I found this all right um I thought it was nice enough I probably wouldn't go out of my way to go and buy it um I don't feel like it's it's not something I'd recommend to Emma Latham put it that way Emma Latham if you watch her on YouTube loves trying out different eye stuff eye creams, eye masks, because she really wants to tackle her under eyes. Um, and it's, yeah, this isn't something I'd like recommend to her. Um, I felt like it was all right. It wasn't bad. I've definitely, I remember when I, I used a Revolution eye cream that I just saw it didn't help my eyes at all. My eyes like deteriorated. Um, and I haven't had that with this. But again, my eyes don't feel like, they feel all right. They don't feel like super nourished like they do with um, the Rodial uh, Vitamin C Eye Souffle I loved. Uh, Charlotte Tilbury Magic Eye Cream I like but I only use it at night time because it's quite like sticky thick consistency. There are other eye creams I've used. I feel like this kind of feels the same to me as like the Boots Glow Eye Serum. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's all right, nothing to complain about. I just wouldn't rave about it again. So I do feel like the March box gave me or us like lots of like, you know, nice different things to try. Um, nothing I really fell in love with. I'm gonna use everything up though, which again, I think is a really good sign. So the eye cream I will use up, probably wouldn't repurchase. The jelly cleanser by, by Vitamasks, I'm probably more likely to repurchase than the others um so yeah that was all right the body cream just a bit thick i would not repurchase this um yeah just a bit too thick for me the shampoo i you know might repurchase it maybe um but i'm just kind of used to what i use you know um and yeah but it felt nice and I actually quite enjoy doing like two uh cleansers of my hair and this um the lip crayon i would potentially repurchase but i do feel like yeah, I probably would repurchase it, but it's probably going to take me a long time to get through that anyway. So, yeah, who knows? Overall, yeah, I do feel like just 
nice things to try quite an average box though but at least i am using and i'm going to use up everything there's nothing in here where i've gone oh i'm not going to use that it's not suitable for me or i really don't like it so that's a win i suppose um but yeah not necessarily really exciting to me um if you got birch box last month and you got any of the same products as me please let me know what you thought of them down below i wonder if we've got the same opinion as um as each other on them uh but that was it just a nice little quick video um i hope you're all doing really well i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you next weekend in my next one